To get your journey started in Paldea, here are 12 tips I wish I knew before I started my journey in the Paldean region. So I hope these tips help you out. And if there are any tips in this video that I didn't cover, put down other helpful tips for those trainers around the Paldean region in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I wish I knew when entering the Paldean region is all about the settings. Of course, this portion is entirely optional for you. You don't have to do any of this, but I would highly suggest turning the auto save feature off. This is going to be very useful for when you come across a shiny or a rare Pokemon. You never have to worry about killing it or accidentally it running away if you save right in front of it because you can always go back and it'll be right there. The next thing is turning your tech speed to fast. A lot of us out here are fast readers or we just simply don't care about the dialogue. So turning to fast will allow you to get through the game even faster. The next thing is turning off nicknames. Every time you catch a Pokemon, it's going to ask you if you want to set a nickname. And by turning it off, you're going to be able to skip this and save a lot of time. Don't worry, you can go back into your Pokemon summary and change your nickname at any time. And the last thing in the settings is turn off the setting skip move learning. By turning this off, you're going to allow yourself to skip over this as well as the nicknames. So you're, it won't ask you if you want to learn every single move that your Pokemon can. Don't worry, you can go back into your move setting in the Pokemon and you can learn or relearn any moves that you have decided to skip over and this is going to save you a ton of time. The next thing I wish I knew a little bit sooner is tip number two, which is just simply knowing the map, which is very important. The things to know is any Pokemon centers or area that you have visited sometime in the past are going to be indicated by a wing on the screen. If you see a wing, that means that you have traveled here before. And unless you're indoors, you can immediately go in and fast travel to any of these places. So if you're ever stuck and you want to fast travel away, you can by simply clicking one of those icons. The next thing is icons on them with typings such as bug, fairy, normal, fire, etc. This is going to be indicating a terror raid has spawned and is taking place there. So if you go there, you're going to be able to enter battle, get a unique Pokemon, or just some free LP. Exclamation points on screen are indicated by what story related quests you have next. So if you're ever lost in the game or you're finally done exploring and you want to know what to do next, head to one of the areas that you have an exclamation point on to continue your adventure. Pokemon on screen indicate where certain species of Pokemon have appeared. And if you have question marks on screen or a Pokemon that are glowing, this is going to indicate that mass outbreaks have appeared. Did someone say shiny hunting? Tip number three, pick up all of these sparkling items. As you are traveling and exploring the overworld, you're going to see a ton of different sparkling items on the floor. Never skip over these and pick all of them up. Some of them are going to have some really rare items, berries, stardust, nuggets, and a lot of other useful items in the game. So pick those up. Tip number four, the camera. When you are in a battle, the camera is a free roam camera allowing you to see whatever you want in the battle. But if you ever want to know how to go back to the traditional camera angle, you can simply click in the R button to do so on your Joy-Con or on your Pro Controller. And by clicking it in, this will return you back to that traditional camera. Tip number five, I kind of hinted at this already, but this is LP points. When you see Terra Raid Dens around the overworld, you can get thousands of LP by just interacting with the Raid Dens. Why you want to do this is LP is also a currency in the game. So if you're short on Poke Dollars, you can also use LP instead to go touch them dens. Tip number six is Trainer Battle Rewards. Not only is it worth doing the Trainer Battles to get really good XP, especially early on, but it's also because at Pokemon Centers, there is staff from the Pokemon League that evaluates how many Pokemon Trainers you have beaten in that specific area. And if you've beaten his requirement, you will get some really useful items such as TMs that can really help you out as well as other items in the game. Tip number seven, this is about picnics. When you're traveling around the overworld, you're going to see other trainers enjoying their time out with their Pokemon having a picnic. Not only should you stop there because sometimes they have free sandwich items to give you, but they will also heal your team of Pokemon. So this is basically like a free Pokemon center heal in the middle of nowhere. 
Number eight is we're talking about auto healing. Don't be like me and forget that this feature exists. By entering the menu by pressing X, you can see all of your Pokemon listed on the left side. When you hover over them, you can hit the minus button on your controller to auto heal any of the Pokemon. This is going to automatically use any healing items or berries you have in your bag. Very useful, especially when you're about to go into battle. Tip number nine, backstrikes are back from Pokemon Legends Arceus and they are not as useful, but they will still really help you out when you do them. So enter into crouch mode and let's get stealthy. And of course, when you hit a Pokemon by targeting them with ZL and throw out your Pokeball, when you get a successful backstrike, the Pokemon will not do any moves against you for two moves. This is gonna allow you to quick think and quick catch those Pokemon to quickly add them to your Pokedex. Number 10 is Let's Go Mode. This is the awesome new feature added in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This is initiated by pushing the top R button at the very top of your controller or Joy-Con. And when you do this, you're gonna initiate the mode where your Pokemon will auto battle, clearing hordes of Pokemon for you and earning easy XP. Remember though, when you are in this mode, weaknesses and advantages are in place. This is completely based on typing. So sending out a fire type against a water type isn't the smartest idea. So make sure that you have the right type of Pokemon with the right type of Pokemon that you want to auto battle to make auto battling easier for you. Tip number 11 is the Deli Birds Delight Shop. Now, of course, as you travel to each new area, as well as the Mesa Goza, you should be checking out all the different shops. But one of the most important ones is the Deli Bird Delight Shop. When you stop by, these shops are going to be in main area of the game in Mesa Goza, as well as all and most cities that you travel in the overworld. But by stopping here, you're going to find tons of useful items, such as battle items, quick claws, focus bands, EV training items, and even customization options for your Rotom phone. So if you're ever wondering how someone got that cool Quaxley Rotom phone, the black one, the purple one, it's because they stopped at the Deli Bird Delight Shop. So don't forget about these shops. They are awesome. And the last tip, my trainers, is Treasure Hunt. When you go on your adventure in the Paldean region, you're set off to go and find your treasure. Now, unlike others, I'm not going to tell you what order to do the game in. There is no right answer. Just simply have fun. But if I had to recommend something, I would say do the Titans, which is the Path of Legends that Arvin gives you first. Reason being is as soon as you're able to, there are five Titans that are in the game and they are directly linked with getting your ride mechanics for Coridon or Maridon unlocked. These mechanics include jumping, swimming, running, gliding, and climbing. So I want you to be able to explore more here. So your answer, my answer is do these first if you can. Just be aware that the further you get from the Mesa Goza, the harder Pokemon are and the higher levels they are. So some of the Titans that are far out are probably going to be a little harder to take down. But regardless, good luck on exploring. Well, trainers, that has been 12 tips that I wish I knew going into Paldea that I think are going to greatly help you out. If any one of these tips did help you out or you didn't know, drop that love in the comments below. Even if you don't have anything to say, drop an emoji for the algorithm. And of course, share other helpful tips for other trainers exploring the Paldean region down below. For more Scarlet and Violet videos, check out the videos on screen now. And we'll see you in Paldea, trainers. Peace.